shares in Africa oil rocketed up 35% yesterday on the back of news about the discovery of additional oil in Kenya. Our guest is Quinn Sievright. He's international oil and gas analyst for Dundee Securities. Quinn, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Hi there. Thanks for having me. Just give us a quick description, if you would, of Africa Oil. Why are investors excited about this story? Sure. Well, Africa Oil has a fairly broad acreage position across East Africa, within Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia. And the excitement really lies onshore Kenya, where they appear to have discovered a significant oil discovery at the Gamia well with their partner, Tolo Oil. They could be looking at a bit, we're looking at a map right now, and this is pretty well virgin territory for the oil industry. Absolutely. I mean, Kenya and Ethiopia are very largely unexplored, and what they're drilling now is analogous to a, another tertiary rift trend in neighboring Uganda, but there has been no wells drilled in this region in, in 20 or 30 years. 20 or 30 years? Why not? Well, um, the prospectivity of the region, um, you know, in those early wells, they, they failed to encounter any material hydrocarbons. So the industry really just walked away from it. So what's happened in Uganda uh, is Africa Oil's partner, Tolo, has really opened up a new type of play, and that's what they're chasing here in Kenya. So Africa Oil, they're, are they the, they're not the operator, I think. Is that right in saying? So what's the payoff for Africa Oil here? That's correct. Africa Oil is largely a 50-50% interest in their partners, Tolo Oil, who operates uh, most of the acreage, but not all. Um, but as a you know, non-operating partner, Africa Oil still enjoys all the upside to any discoveries across this acreage position. Now, somebody looking at that chart, Quinn, might say, well, the easy money's been made, but you just hiked your target on Africa Oil way up to $12. The uh, stock's at seven and change, so you see plenty more upside here. Sure, absolutely. Um, exactly. Our $12 target is predicated on a 1 billion barrel discovery. Mm -hmm. We think the company could discover that uh, within this basin alone. And there are further seven basins across a very large acreage position. And it's still very, very early days in the exploration campaign. So that's one of the things you're, you, you want to highlight for investors, that this may be opening up the whole basin here. Does Africa Oil have other plays in the region? They do have other plays. Um, within this play, there are a number of other basins which um, have significant prospectivity. Um, they also have other, three other play types across the region um, in southern Ethiopia, in eastern Kenya, and also in Somalia. What's the news flow likely to be from Africa Oil then, Quinn? I mean, when are we likely to get more results coming from the company? Sure. So the company is only about halfway to total depth on their current expiration well, despite having encountered about 100 meters of net oil pay. Mm -hmm. So they're going to drill down another uh, about 1,200 meters. So there'll be further logging results over the next coming weeks. And then thereafter, they're going to test the well in June. And that will be critical to confirming the commercial potential of this well. What's it like there? I mean, presumably it's pretty expensive if they don't have much of an oil industry infrastructure in the country. Yeah, um, Africa Oil and their partner have had to bring in a rig from out of country, mm -hmm. and the well costs are roughly 35 to 40 million for this well. Wow. But they should come down now that they have the rig in country, as mobilization is a significant portion of that cost. That was the big thing they had to uh, bring in. Now, can you clarify something? I understand the Lundin family, the legendary mining financiers, have a stake in Africa Oil. Can you shed any light on that? Yeah, exactly. Um, Lundin um, have been involved in Africa Oil and some of its predecessor companies. And their interest probably dates back roughly six years when the company uh, and, and its former entities started accumulating acreage in the region. Um, so I believe Lundin hold uh, roughly 8% stake in this company. Now, can you tell us what is the story on Horn Petroleum? I'm kind of throwing that one at you, uh, Quinn, but they're a partner with Africa Oil. It's HRN on the TSX. Is Horn involved in this particular discovery? No, Horn is not involved in this discovery, but the management team of Horn is essentially the same as Africa Oil, and Horn operate the Somalian acreage where they're currently drilling an exploration well. And Africa Oil actually has a 51% equity interest in Horn Petroleum. And so effectively, um, it was a financial farm out to the market 
in order to fund and de-risk the drilling that's happening in Somalia. And just finally, you say, well, depending how you crunch the numbers, your, your high case says that the net asset value for Africa oil could be more than 20 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I want to highlight that that's not necessarily an unrisk case, if mm -hmm. you will. Um, you know, the, the, there is definitely the potential for multi-billion barrels of discovery. And that high case of rough, roughly 20 bucks is predicated on just under 2 billion barrels of gross discoveries. Good stuff. Can you tell us, has Dundee raised money for the company or do you own the stock yourself? No, I do not. Great. Has and Dundee has not raised any money. Great. Quinn, thank you so much for joining us uh, because I know a lot of people are following this stock with great interest. Thanks for having me. Quinn Seafright is international oil and gas analyst for Dundee Securities. He's got one good line in his report. He says, this is just the tip of the elephant's tusk.